Hey everyone, today we have a brand new device which can convert your home into a smart home, the Zook Clicker. This device is a smart Wi-Fi universal remote control which can control all your IR devices via smartphone or via voice. This device is going to solve a lot of your remote control woes as we always have our smartphone closed. Now your mobile phone will be a control center for all your IR remotes. So no more juggling with multiple remotes. What all can be operated? Air conditioners, TVs, setup boxes, fans with IR remote controls. Uh, you have the purifiers with IR remote controls, music systems with IR remote controls. So what are the benefits of using this? It'll remove the hassle of having multiple remotes. You will get complete control by a smartphone. You can control all the devices using voice assistants like Alexa or Google Assistant. You don't need to buy a Echo Dot or the uh, Google Mini, but voice commands can also be given via the mobile application or the assistant on your mobile. It can be used from anywhere in the world. So what all can I do with my voice commands? You can turn on the TV, set-top box, air conditioner and other appliances using IR remotes. You can also turn them off. You can increase the volume of the TV, you can change channels on your TV and the set-top box, you can mute the TV and the set-top box, set the temperature on the air conditioner. Now you can turn on your air conditioner from anywhere you are or if you are driving back home, you can turn it on from the car so that by the time you are home, it's already on. That is way too smart. In the box, we have the Zook Clicker Wi-Fi IR remote control, a micro USB to USB-A cable, one double-sided sticker if you want to keep it in one place, a user manual, very important, and a certificate of authenticity. Before you can use the device, we need to set it up and that is done by first installing the Zook Smart App on your Android or iOS phone. Better if you do this step before installing the Zook Clicker. So register for an account and log in. The device once connected to power using the provided USB cable should have the LED on its face blink rapidly. This indicates that the device is ready to pair to your Wi-Fi. On the app, hit Add Device button, select Gateway and others from the side menu, locate the universal remote control and on the next screen, you are prompted to enter your Wi-Fi credentials. Enter your password and hit Next. The LED on your clicker should be blinking one time every half second. If the LED on the top face is not blinking, press and hold down the Reset button found under the device. The device resets and the LED blinks again, ready in pairing mode. Tap the appropriate button on the phone and this will be the first one on here and the app transfer your Wi-Fi credentials to the device, allowing it to connect to your Wi-Fi network. The app completes the configuration and the device is ready. Now that the device is on the same Wi-Fi network as your phone, we can start adding remotes to it. First, I'll add my TV to the list. You can search for your TV brand using the search bar provided. It provides a virtual remote on screen and we need to test if the buttons work. If it does, we keep this remote or we select another until we find the right one. There are multiple models listed, so you will need to find the one that works with your TV. So let's test if the TV is responding to the signals from the device. Next, we'll add the air conditioner. Similar setup, select your brand, test if the remote works and accept. The important feature this app provides is the voice automation. This is possible via Amazon's Echo devices and Google Home devices or even the voice assistants on your phone. Before you can use the Zoo Clicker with the Amazon Alexa or the Google Home, you will need to set them up in their respective apps. So uh, before Amazon Alexa, you need to open up the Alexa app. On the top left, you have the hamburger menu. On that, you select uh, skills and games. On the top right, you have this search bar, search for Zook Smart. And on that page, you have enable this skill. Setting up for Google Home is also quite similar. You would use the Home app, which is by Google. You would add a new device from the top left and you would click on set up a new device. And over there, you have manage accounts and you have a search bar over there. You would search for Zook Smart 
once you select zook mart it will ask for connecting with your uh, google uh, google account once you do that access is granted to the zook clicker and you can start using it via voice using the google home app turn off guest tv turn on guest tv there you go alexa takes care of turning on the tv via voice increase volume guest tv okay decrease guest tv volume when i set up the device i use the name guest tv okay. but you can use any name for the remote now let's see the ac turn on guest ac okay increase guest ac temperature Guest AC is set to 23. Turn off guest AC. Okay. Wow, it's so simple to use. You could even do this while you're on the way back from work and you want to set the room to a certain temperature by the time you are there. Just use the app on the phone. It's super convenient. Similar for the set-top box, you can turn it on or off, change channels, or even increase or decrease the volume. For chance your device is not included in the list, don't worry. You can add a custom DIY remote and make the Zook clicker learn by pointing your remote at it. It's that simple. I hope this video helped you answer any queries you have with the Zook clicker. If you have any questions, you could call Zook at one eight double zero one zero three three five double four or email them at support at zook dot co dot in. So enjoy your Zook clicker and see you.